Ирина Сара. Good evening. Добрый вечер. Всех приветствую в этом зале. I welcome зале everybody in this hall. General Media Group. In the hall of General Media Group. мы здесь за месяц до проведения. Traditionally we meet here one month before the event. Или, вернее сказать, боя как такового. Or actually the fights. We're having this press conference. Сегодня мы будем говорить о предстоящем турнире Eagles 7. Today we're going to talk about the upcoming tournament Eagles 7. I would like to say that this tournament, by my opinion and not only, so everybody who got involved in the Eagles tournament, the trainers, the fighters, specialists, will know that this tournament will be one of the most spectacular from all the other six previously taking place. Of course, there are some nuances in the upcoming tournament, but I will talk about them shortly. I would like to tell you about the tournaments that we held this year, Eagles 4, 5 and 6, which were very interesting. The fights were very spectacular. There were title fights, championship fights. We had a very interesting event and fight with the team from Russia. I think this year was a very successful one for the Eagles tournament. And now we'll have the seventh tournament, Eagles 7, which will be the final for this year, which I promise will be the most spectacular. So I'll tell you a couple of words about the tournament, Eagles 7. We will change the format of the tournament a little bit. More specifically, the hall. We're moving to a big hall, Manier Sport Arena. And those who fought in KOK before know this arena. They will know that we will, we will decorate the arena very nicely. And second is actually how many people we can fit in, in this in this hall, and I know that we will be able to to get many more spectac spectators. So on the 4th of November, we will have something new, and we have great hopes. And we've been planning with everybody who gets involved in this tournament. We're planning a very spectacular and a very interesting fight. Now, speaking about the tournament, we try to inform everybody about the title fight. It's a revenge between Barbarossa and Botnaro Vasily. And a couple of days before the conference, I got very. I got, I got news from Botnaro's team that something has happened with Botnaro's health. However, I did not get any specific answers to my questions. And I consider the answers given by Botnaro's team were not very correct. Therefore, we have decided that the, champ the champion belt in the category 77 categories will be open, so there will be no champion in this category, because Botnaro, Botnaro lost his belt and will be fined for three tournaments. So, in other words, next three tournaments 
he will not be able to participate in our tournaments, in our competitions, but I also think not only in our competition, because I know that Botnaro has a contract with FIA Federation. So this is the belt, which I'm sure you're um, known about. This is the belt in the category up to 77 kilos. So instead of Botnaro, we will have Luka Poklit, who will be fighting. And I think this, is, this should have been done from the very beginning. But life is an interesting thing, and I guess it put everything on its place. So Luka Poklit will meet with Sergio Barbarossa on the 4th of November. I think the fight will be very interesting and a very spectacular one. This fight is being expected by many, many people who are following us and who love our project. Now I would like to invite on the, on the scene fighters from the title fight and a couple of more fighters who will participate in our tournament Eagles 7. But before that I would like to draw your attention that except the title fight and except the revenges and star fights will have many young fighters fights and I will like to call them by name those who will fight in this tournament Eagles 7 Suprovich Vasilio is one of them he will meet with with a Spanish fighter also a young one Tarik Lamagali is his name. I think that for Vasily it will be a real test. I know that he is getting a very intensive training. He is in a good shape and he has great hopes. We will also see a revenge, but rather a fight between Mihalice and another fighter. And Filipski, we remember the fight where Filipski lost the fight. And Filipski asked for a revenge, and we will give him this opportunity. We'll have a young and prospective fighter of our of our project, his name is Georgi Luku, Lupo, and he'll fight again an Azer fighter who lives in Romania. He had a fight this had a fight this summer, and and Lupo won it. And the Azer fighter asked for for revenge, and we decided to give it to him. I would like to say a couple of words about Alexander Romanov. He will have a very strong rival from England. And I think Rodion is going with a very steady steps to the title of very heavyweight. Mikhail Sirbu is another champion of ours, 52 kilos. He will have a very interesting fight with another fighter who participated in Eagles before from Venezuela, Mr. Koz Kuzman. He is a very good fighter, and I'm sure that this um, competition will be a very spectacular one. So this is in short about our tournament, so I would like to invite our main fights participants. So this is Nikolai Skorohod. His opponent is from Russia. His rival Arslan is a Russian Estimesov. fighter, Arslan Estimesov. So, a second pair of rivals, so Romanian fighter, Mr. Barbo. 
Его оппонент боец из России His opponent, Imran a Russian Kumushev. fighter, Imran Kumushev. Сейчас я представляю main event нашего турнира. Это Now, I'm invited, I would like to present you the main event of the Tournament Eagles 7, the fighters of up to 77 kilos, and this is Luka Poklit. His competitor, Sergio Barbarosha. Many fighters. It's getting very hot in the hall, so I'm sorry I will take off my jacket. These are our fighters. These are the main fighters, not everybody yet. And I'm expecting very interesting fights in the, in the tournament. I would like to talk about the main event because I'm sure this is the fight that should have happened but hasn't. I would like to get I would like to get some questions from yours from you and we'll be happy to answer. Good evening, Romanov Alexander Hayweight. I would like to ask a question to our guests. First of all, welcome to our Moldovan land. Welcome. And I have a question to Arslan. You have a very serious rival who has been fighting in the category of 93 kilogr kilograms for the whole year. So, how do you evaluate your chances? What would be uh, how happy would be this fight? I would like to welcome everybody and thank you for the question. I don't know anything about my rival. I was given the name and the last name. I was fighting in a different fight last, last week and I became the master of sports, an international class. It was my main target in amateur sports and now I can actually I'm looking forward to more professional activity I will be looking to the fights of Nikolai together with my trainer and I will be preparing specifically for this fight I'm in a good shape and I feel excellent I have no problems with my weight and what can I say he's a heavy one I know he has been fighting for the whole year, but he will have to recover quickly. And of course he is also getting very tired. And maybe he will lack speed and power, but we will see at the actual fight. I am very happy to be here. I love Moldova and I have many friends here. And I see that the organization of the tournament is on the very high level. Thank you to the organizers. Thank you for the invitation. And I would love to to make the local the local fans happy. And I know that the majority of of rivals that I've been fighting for were Mold are Moldovans, are local. So I'm sure that the fans will be actually supporting them. So I would like to actually change their interest into me. And so far, Nikolai Skorohod, let's make a very spectacular fight and the results we'll see actually at the fight. I have a question to Irman Kumushim. In your category of 62 kilograms, there are very good fighters like Mikhail Sirbu, Barbo, Georgi Lupu. After these names, do you still dream to have um, the belt of a champion? Yes, there are many good fighters in, in my weight, but I have a very strong target. And I would like to fight with Barbo. And after the fight, we will see. In any case, it should be very spectacular. Good evening. 
question to Nikolai Skorohod. You move to category 84 kilograms, and it took you a lot of time to move it, to move to this category. Do you still have plans to remain in this category? Good evening to everybody. I will fight in 84 and in 93, and I feel perfect in both categories. We know that the belt in 84 kilos is free. So do you still want to stay in this category? Of course, I will have to fight the, my rival, and then I will be going for the belt, the champion belt. I'm sorry I didn't understand anything because I don't speak Moldovan. I'm just curious. The question was whether Nikolai will stay in, in the category of 84 kilograms. Nikolai said that he will participate in 84 and over 90 kilos. And Nikolai also said that he will fight for the championship belt. That's why I'm here between you so that I can translate. Question to Nikolai Skorohod. Have you seen the fight of Islamis with Artyom Kula? What do you think about the fight? Yes, I have seen it. He's a very good fighter, a very experienced one, but I'm not afraid of him. Have you made any conclusions and what tactics will you adopt if it's not a secret? It's too early to draw any conclusions. Question to Sergio Barbarossa. A question to you as a sportsman, as a trainer, and as a trainer. What opinion do you have regarding people who don't take it serious training and their trainers? It's a very serious question. And it's a, it's a very good one for today's conference. As a trainer, of course, I look very negatively to such students, to, to such fighters. If we are professional fighters, we need to be professional in everything we do in order to raise the level of Moldova, of Moldovan sportsmen. And we need to think, to live, to train, and everything we do has to be very professional. I, I don't honestly understand the motivation the motivation why um, why my rival could not come we both knew about this upcoming fight we had fight we had time to rest and to train and I guess um, in this case the trainer does not have any value for the fighter so the trainer should take care better care of the of his fighters and to know what they do and if they engaged in participating in this fight. And this was a real present for him, the, fi the fact that we, are going, we were going to fight. And it's another proof that he just did not merit it. He did not deserve it. I'm sure that he was very, very lucky. Of course, I made mistakes as well. However, everything is in its place by now. Now Luka will be the one uh, who is the winner and it will be a very fair fight. And in this fight we will see who will be the champion. However, when they were writing in internet, they were writing different legends.
but by now I guess they lost all their temp all their tempo. And maybe he's just afraid. Well, if you don't have enough courage, then just tell it. If you have the potential and you have complete dedication, then you should come. But if you don't, then I'm very sorry for you. Good evening. Question for Luca. What can you say about Vasily Botnar, who is an ex-owner of the belt in category 77 kilo? I can say that Vasily is a fighter with a character. I fought against him in category 77 kilos. I, I, I won, and I won. Good evening. Question, Kuimram. After after you lost Mikhail Sirbu in Eagles three, I haven't seen you. Tell tell us please, in what shape are you right now? Now I am in a good form. But because I got um, a head problem, I couldn't fight for six months, but now everything is fine. I have a question to Darin. How do you manage to keep the Eagles tournament on such a high level and have such good and spectacular fights? How to keep all of these fighters and what is the success formula? I can tell you. We talked about this before. A long time ago, about six, seven years ago, with Ion Georgiou, who gave me this question, were talking back then and he was telling me we should look at MMA we should develop here but I, I wasn't very attentive and I should have taken his word seriously but I was not feeling that the time has come yet and I remember hearing Alexander Karelin saying during one interview he, he was saying that MMA for him are the rules by which everybody should fight of course Karelin is a legend maybe maybe for him this is the right thing but for us this is already a type of, of sports like K1 time changes and rules change and I would like to answer your question so back then, I didn't see it coming. But two years ago, after periodically talking, talking with you, and I remember you helping me in the project, and this is one of the best projects in the world. And probably time has come now. Everything is done on time. And my organization has proved that no matter what we start, we get to the point, to the point which we planned several years before. Therefore, our project has a big future and high perspectives. There are many secrets which I cannot yet tell you, until they actually come into life and I assure you that everything will be very 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 good everything will be excellent and even the fact that this tournament will be in a bigger arena it will be a great picture and I'm sure many people who two years ago were looking skeptically at this will be quite will be quite amazed I'm sure even Europeans will be quite amazed. Well, maybe not Americans, because they're quite far from here. So many, many Europeans were looking at Moldova and saying, oh, in Moldova they cannot do it. However, this is my answer to them. 
We're going forward. The success secret is to be constant. We changed something. We took the past as lessons. We don't re reinvent things. We just look at, at the history, look at the things we have done. And we just come up with new ideas on how to change things which already worked. And I would like to say that we just continue to grow. And this is just the beginning for us. Well, there are some tournaments that have over 200 um, competitions, and we have only the seventh. Thank you. Good evening. A question to Bogdan Barbu. Bogdan, you're one of the most disciplined fighters in Eagles. Can you tell us a couple of secrets of yours about preparations and trainings? I don't have any, any secrets. Everybody is getting trained. The, my only rival is myself. I always try to progress. This, this is how I grow. And without devotion, relaxation, and sacrifices, I don't think you can go far. Thank you. Question to Sergio Barbarossi. If you had to fight against, uh, to choose between Botnaro and Poklid, who would you lose? Who would you choose, sorry? I would choose Poklid because he is the winner of this, of this competition. And because he won, this means he is better. Even if it was before the situation, I would have said the same thing. He's the finalist of the parliament, which led us to, to the fight for the belt. But Naro, I would like to repeat, just got this present, but this is the present he did not use and did not deserve. Yes, there is a saying in Moldova that what comes easy goes easy. Question to Doreen. The question about Eagle 6, where the team from Russia participated. It was an explosion among the MMA fans. Is there a possibility that the representatives of our promotion would participate in Russia as well? We already received several invitations, but we need to understand. First of all, we have our own plans, so we have, we have to meet the targets which we have set in front of us. We have fights, we have fights of our competitors, of our fighters, which we contracted. So this will be on the second, on the second priority for us to participate abroad. And of course, we can participate. We can participate in Russia, but not only. We can participate in any other country who will invite us. You know, even neighboring countries like Ukraine, Hungary, uh, Romania, Netherlands, Ireland. But we need time and possibility. But as, as I said, the priority is always, first of all, the local plans. So domestic plans. And maybe once per year we can send our team um, in other countries. And we were quite happy, um, and the industrials, the team from Russia was also very excited about the fight that we had in Eagle 6. So I'm sure we will have it again. So Eagles at this point of time is taking place only on the territory of the Republic of Moldova. Do you plan to take it outside of Moldova? Yes, I was talking about this before. I plan to grow the tournament. But of course there are some problems. But there are other types of tournaments that were taking place in only one small city or in one country. There are Russian types of tournaments that were taking place only in Russia. 
but it does not necessarily mean that they're worse than the other ones. Of course, I talk as a promoter. In order to organize such tournaments, it's not so it's not so easy. Not necessarily financially. I'm talking about the logistics. And, and I'm quite specific. If I do something and I do it well, I want to do a very good copy, a very high level and high quality copy. And I don't want to make it something similar to what we have in Moldova. And of course, if you do such tournaments outside of Moldova, you need to have very good partners and very reliable one. And we had several, um, several offers from Russia, from Ukraine, from Europe. However, we are being quite um, reluctant on that. So we're, first of all, put priority here in Moldova. But yet, I don't see um, in those partners what I would like to see in real partners. Question to Bogdan. You're a very experienced one, and you're one of the favorite fights. So how do you think? Would the fight would be an easy one? Good question. Thank you. I wouldn't know how the fight would be. I can say only one thing. I want to fight and I want to win. And I'm absolutely sure that I will win my rival. I looked at two fights of my rival at previous Ingles. The fight against Mikhail and and the one against Aliyev. Of course, he is an experienced fighter, um, but I cannot say that he is stronger or weaker than me. I think the chances are 50-50. We're keeping fingers crossed for you. Thank you. Good evening. A question to our, our friend Bogdan. If you win your rival, Kumushev, would you like to fight next time against Dmitry Prigubayev? It doesn't matter who will be my next competitor. I would, I would fight anywhere. No matter who will be my next competitor. This is my job, to fight. Thank you. Question to Ivran Kumushev. Could you please tell us the secret? How do you plan to win Nikolai Barber? Because you know that the majority of people will be, going, will be fans of Barber. Well, as I said, um, I don't know what will happen, but I really think that um, luck will be on my side. Any other questions? One more question to Mr. Doreen. Young Moldovan fighters. Once the Eagles has appeared, have quite good chances to realize their dreams. As you know, our veterans always had to fight outside of the borders of Moldova. But the young generation has the, this possibility to fight here. So my question is, what possibilities do they have inside Moldova to grow and to be supported by the FIA Federation? An example is Mr. Reason, for instance. When we come to this earth, we're all equal. And God, God gives us everything to everybody. And it's our choice to develop what we get or leave it the way it is. The same thing happens with our fighters. Back in 2009, when we had the first project, K1 and Eagles, our first idea behind Eagles tournament was to make the sports more popular 
and to make it known outside of the Republic of Moldova, to develop the fighters, the correct development of the fighters. And you rightly mentioned that many fighters, and I'm not a young man, so I remember many of the fighters who were fighting even 20 years ago, who were fighting in big projects. And it is true that the correct development of a young fighter is a real art. And you have to be very careful in order not to get him a trauma, neither physical nor mental. The second situation, the second situation about development is that the fighters who came to our tournament, the veterans are the ones who already came trained, but the young generation actually are those who come and start training here. And I'm sure in, in several years they will grow and will become very serious fighters. But of course everything depends on those fighters. So what is being requested? So we request a fight, 100% dedication. And the second, a very important thing, is the charisma of the fighter. If he attracts the public, if he attracts the fans, sponsors and TV, it's a very important moment. Right now, we are living in the time where everything is changing very fast, in the matter of months or days. So we have to do all the best in order to be to go very quickly in this developing um, atmosphere. I have a question to Imran. I think in this in this uh, com competition there is no real um, favorite fighter because they're all very serious one. And for a long period of time everybody will be talking about their previous fight. My question is to him, Ron, do you plan to prepare a training fight here in Moldova? And maybe while staying here in Moldova you will get more accommodated to the Moldovan climate? I was thinking about it. I was thinking about coming at least one week beforehand. Well, in my previous fight, after the first round, I was not very good. I was not in very good shape, and maybe it is because of the fact that I did not get accommodated. Anybody has any questions? Questions to Ruslan. Ruslan, you said Nikolai Skorohod is losing his weight. So, if it's not a secret, how much weight are you losing? Thank you for the question. My weight is a floating one. It depends what period uh, of training I am in. If I am resting, and we have to rest after every fight, sometimes my weight goes up to 100. Even. But I have to control, that's why there are different diets. There is a trainer who's, who is looking at me. And if, if he needs, he will definitely be very, very serious about that. Right now, my weight is 91 kilos, and I feel in a great shape. Last week I was participating in category 90 kilos, and I was recently on a wedding here in Moldova, and I was eating a lot of meat, that's why I added a little bit of weight. Today I saw Nikolai, he is a very strong fighter, so this is a very strong motivation for me not to eat any candies or any sweets before the fight and I, will, and I will lose 7 kilos before the fight. Thank you. A couple of words about Moldovan weddings. 
please. Moldovan weddings? But tell you the truth, I have never been on such a big wedding. And I mean it was a very fun one. Not because of how expensive it was, but because of the people. The people who were very friendly. People who were very, very, um, very excited. For instance, from where I come, it's only the teenagers who actually get fun at the wedding. But at the wedding here in Moldova, I saw that people were dancing and singing and everybody, there were, there were songs from different uh, cultures, so everybody could find something for himself. And right now the wedding is still going, so maybe after this conference I will still go back to the wedding. So maybe, maybe there is a sheep already getting prepared for me. Thank you. A question for Luca Poklit. What was your first reaction when you found out that you'll be fighting for the Eagle's belt? It should have happened before, but how did you take this news? I was dreaming to become a champion in the category of 87 kilos, of 77 kilos, and I'm very happy that this has happened. And this day has come. And I really wish to become champion in this category. I'd like to ask Arslan. So you said that you were twice? That you said that you fought uh, for a master class? And I'm fighting in a, in a competition which is similar to MMA but it has some different rules. First round it's kickboxing and second is, is actually and second is wrestling. So for MMA I did everything I could and now, and now I'm putting an accent on um, MMA and specifically on Eagles. Any other questions? I would like all the participants to say a couple of words for the fans, for the spectators, TV spectators, for those who will come to see you fight. I'm expecting every supporter to be there on the 4th of November at Gala Eagles Fight Championship. And I can assure you a real um, spectacular fight just as I did before. And good luck to all the sportsmen. Slan, if you could say a couple of words. Thank you for the invitation. I was afraid you wouldn't come, uh, you wouldn't call me after May. So I'm here. And in a month I will be even in a better shape. Thank you to the organizers. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. As a fighter I can say one thing. Everyone who is coming in the night when we fight, for us, you are that positive energy that we are receiving. But even if it's a negative one, it's still, it, it still has a positive effect. I expect everybody, every supporter of this type of sports to pass us your positive emotions and we promise to return back these positive emotions. And after these fights, after these fights, I would like to see more young people to get involved in this type of sports. I hope that we will be a very good example for all of the people, that we will show to everybody that in Moldova you can actually do professional sports. A couple of words. I'd like to say that I'm in a very good shape and I'm inviting all the friends, family 
and fans to support us. First of all, I would like to thank the President of FIA Federation, Mr. Damir. Thank you for the warm in invitation. I would like to invite everybody on the 4th of November to the spectacular tournament. I'm expecting all the supporters. My rival is a very good one, as you know. It's a very strong one, and I promise you a very interesting fight. At this point, the official part is over. Thank you, everybody. Dmitry Chobano. Vasily Suprovich. Georgi Lupov. Konstantin Gnusaryov. Dmitry Bostan. Alexander Romanov. Nikolai Skorohod. Arstan Yeslemeso Bogdan Barbo. Imran Kumashev. Mikhail Sirbu. Andrei Barbaroshe.
Лука Поклит. Și adversarul lui, Sergiu Barbaroșie.